if you have tight hips, you're in good company because it is the same for pretty much everyone these days. Poor hip mobility can contribute to issues like lower back pain, knee problems. It can also lead to a number of physical, emotional, mental and sexual concerns. Furthermore, tight hips can make you inactive, predisposing to overweight. Your hips are the center of movement for your body. So the healthier and less restricted your hips become, the more potential your body has for strength and power. While static stretches can be useful in terms of increasing flexibility, they do not teach the neuromuscular system how to control the newly acquired range of motion. Dynamic mobility challenges mobility while also requiring active neuromuscular control and is great for improvement of your range of motion. That is why I'm sharing with you these dynamic hip mobility routines in this video. I will share with you the first five of these hip mobility exercises in this video and another five in the next one. They will help you to loosen your hips, which means less pain and better performance in virtually everything you do. Static pigeon pose is often used to stretch the glutes and the piriformis, which are typically tightened due to either overuse or lack of mobility, such as prolonged sitting. The dynamic variation of the pigeon pose will not only stretch your tight glutes and piriformis, it will also challenge your mobility, balance, as well as your neuromuscular control at the same time. The 1990 rollover is one of the most effective ways to target the hip capsule. It is a position that challenges flexion and external rotation for the front hip, while the back hip is in abduction and internal rotation. The ability to rotate efficiently at the hip joint is crucial for overall health. As a ball and socket joint, all movement includes some degree of rotation, meaning even while flexing and extending the hip, there is rotation happening. So whether you are walking or running, the ability to rotate the hip is crucial. Sitting for most of the day keeps your hips in a tight, compact position. Straddle flexibility is important because the hip adductors or inner thighs tends to be shortened because of the amount of time we spend sitting. Prolonged sitting also leads to a lot of tension and tightness, which can make you susceptible to injury. Increased straddle flexibility can help with spinal mobility and allow for proper core development. It can assist with better spinal alignment and help with improvement of lateral hip rotation. And this is key for us who spend the majority of our time sitting with our legs in a parallel position. The adductor rock is great for stretching your adductors as well as improving your hip mobility. Start in a tabletop position with the knees under hips and wrists under shoulders. Extend one leg out to the side. Maintain core activation to keep a neutral spine as you sit back towards your heel. This is meant to be a slow and controlled movement. So take a pause as you sit back to get a nice stretch in the adductors before returning to start. The deep lunge is a great dynamic hip mobility drill. In this deep lunge position, the left hip flexors is being stretched. When you sit back on your left heel, your left quadriceps and the right hamstrings are being stretched at the same time. Then repeat the same on the other side. See you next week for the next five hip mobility exercises. So stay tuned for better hip mobility and improved spinal health. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe, share and comment. Please also hit the bell so that you will be notified of any new future video release. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness, and if you want to prevent lower back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon. Thank you.